Manchester United is in a dilemma. No matter what I do, all I think about is you. Even when I'm in my room, going I'm crazy because of you. Man United. Listen, that's one of my greatest songs, by the way. Nelly and Kelly Rowland. It's called Dilemma. What a song. It speaks exactly to the situation Manchester United is in. We are in a dilemma. Do you know why? Because... Our goalkeeper, Andre Onana, is supposed to be joining Cameroon for the Africa Cup of Nations. It should be starting on the 13th of January, all the way up to the 11th of Feb. I'll tell you later on which games are there and what the plan is. But guess what? The same supporters that were saying, Onana is bad, he's full of holers, he's not good enough. Right now, he should be celebrating. But you know what? They are pretending. He should not go. He should not go hypocrisy of the highest order let me tell you i'm talking to my ladies now guys i'm breaking the bro code find me here and beat me if you can because i'm about to break the bro code listen ladies it is true what they say that you tell your man's character by the club they support man you supporters we are hypocrites yes we are hypocrites and from the owners they are the hypocrites in chief one day they say in november last year they want to sell manchester united they act the, com the complete opposite. If you wanted to sell, we will be where we are now up to now. We are not, it's not clear where we are headed. Hypocrisy from the Glazers of the highest order. Bring it down to the manager. One day he's attacking certain players uh, for not acting mature and what, what, what. The next day they are there and they are being praised. That's hypocrisy as well. When it comes to the, 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 the legends of the club, that uh, years, a year ago, barely a year ago, Gary Neville, Rayo Ferdinand were all praising Mason Greenwood as the hottest thing in the world of football, the next future star. Right now he's being a star. They are quiet. They are saying nothing. Hypocrisy of the highest order. Now bring it to the fans. Ay, 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 ay. We are the last bones of hypocrisy. Because, I mean, one day you're abusing Onana. For making so many holers, uh, what he's not good enough. The here should be back. Le, 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 le. Now Onana is going to the Afcon, and you're all saying, um, he should not go. Uh, but Onana, who is going to is out of Bindi good enough? Oh, we bring back the here on loan for a short period when he's away. Guys, come on, choose a struggle, choose where to, you fall. Don't be hypocrites like that. But anyway, it's okay. I'm one of them. I'm one of them to be honest. Yeah, I'm also a hypocrite like that. That's why I support this club. But I love it anyway. Guys, it's a Friday show. What do you expect? Uh, anyway, let's get into it. So the situation at Manchester United, the AFCON is just around the corner. And it is sad that there are people out there who actually think that Andre Onana should even think twice about going to the AFCON. Well, are you insane? If it were Kobe Maino and England had called him up and there was... and and of course it wouldn't happen, but uh, because, of course, obviously they don't respect the AFCON, but uh, the AFCON cannot, the, the Premier League cannot continue when the Euros, for example, are going on. Can it? It can't. But anyway, because it's the AFCON, and yeah, it's okay. They are the big guys and the, you know, small guys. We, we, we accept our position as Africans. I mean, we are not up there. We are not as important. But I think it's disrespectful for people to even think that Andre Onana should think twice about going to represent his country at the biggest football competition in his con co continent, in his motherland. Now, people are suggesting, should he go or he should, can, should not go? He should not go. If it were Kobe Maino and England had called him up and, you know, in the weirdest dreams, there is a competition uh, that England is going to be playing in. Kobe Maino is wanted and Manu is also playing. Would someone be saying he should not go to represent his country? Would anyone be starting that conversation? Guys, come on, let the guy go represent his country. It's an honor that you cannot pay £120,000 for. It's not about the money. It's his country, guys. It's his country. Naturally, you are honored if you're going to represent your country. It's what we work for. It's more important than playing against Wolves in the Premier League. Yes, it is. So, Onana to AFCON, that's done. No debates about it, unless he's not summoned. But... Let's go back now to who will come in. There are reports suggesting now that Man United could go for a short loan move for the jobless David De Gea. You know, the reality is David De Gea left, but he didn't leave. Because, to be honest, I think he didn't expect that he would be treated the way he was, and he's still in shock. He has not recovered. Mr. David De Gea, the married man, he has not recovered. Because how is it that up to now De Gea, 32 
does not have a club. Well, I know he has got a lot of money. I mean, he was our top most earner by the time he left. But he's still there. You see him around Old Trafford. He's there. I think he's hoping that he doesn't go well for Onana and returns. So now, if he comes in on loan, and of course, for footballing reasons, uh, for footballing reasons, if Althel Binder is not good enough, that's an option. David here is an option, and people are actually pushing for that option. For me, I think it's uh, again, it's not progressive. I think we should think beyond David here. Let the guy move on. Let him rest. He was disrespected by the club. I, we don't care whether he's okay. He's cool with how he was disrespected. Uh, disrespected. We love him as a legend. He shouldn't return. We moved on from the here. So Onana should go to his Afcon. This is the opportunity for Altel Bindev. Manchester United has always been known to have good second choice goalkeepers. Our second choice goalkeepers are not always far off the first choice goalkeepers. You can remember David De Gea's assistant uh, back then, Sergio Romero, for the longest time. Romero, when, when he came into goal, many were saying he should be starting ahead of De Gea. So even Bindev is good enough. So I think the right thing to do is give Bindev a chance. I mean, look at the games we have. Th those are the fixtures we have. In January, I told you the Africa Cup of Nations starts on the uh, 13th of January. But the January fixtures for United look like this. These are the fixtures. Uh, we've got Wigan, uh, that is in the FA Cup. Uh, we've got uh, Wigan away. Uh, then on the 14th of January, we've got Tottenham Hotspurs. That is at home at Old Trafford. That's the only Premier League game we've got in Jan. That's on the 14th, the second day of the league. So by that time, obviously... Onana will be away. He could be available for, for the Wigan game, but of course, I think at the start of the year, he should just go and join his team. So, even if Baindi was the goalkeeper for the two games, what's the worst that can happen? He's not that bad. I've even seen him to know whether he's bad or not. So, for me, I think he's an able uh, goalkeeper. Then, in February, because it goes on until the 11th of February. So, in February, uh, we've got West Ham. That's on the 4th. And on the, uh, that's at home. Then, on the 11th, we play Aston Villa. That's away. That's the day. That's assuming if uh, if uh, Cam if Cameroon reaches the final in Ivory Coast, then he will still be playing. But on the day of the final, the last day of the competition, it's Aston Villa away. That's the team we are facing. Uh, probably, and I don't think Cameroon is going to reach so far. By that time, he will be done and dusted, probably uh, planning to return and join the team. He could even be back anyway. Uh, then there is Luton. Maybe if they, they, they choose to let him rest after the AFCON, uh, he can rest all, uh, until the end of Feb. So they, we've got Luton away and Fulham. Really, 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 guys. Should, be, should we be here panting and crying and wobbling over Nana not being there? After all, you all hypocrites, we hypocrites have not been thinking, have not been, we felt was not good enough. And of course, there is also this chief theory uh, flying around that, Onana should stay and fight and keep his place because Bindi could overtake him. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. That's absolute nonsense. Yes, it is. That just like it is absolute nonsense for you to think that I was going to be, so, I mean, scams here and talk all serious and, and be tough and what on a Friday show. But anyhow, that said, I love my pants by the way. I haven't put on these pants in a long time. Look at them. How do you like them? Be honest, fam. Look at them. <laughs> they actually still fit me. I haven't put on these pants in more than two years. <laughs> I love them. I should, I, I should keep putting them on more. Anyhow, that's how Man United looks. But in terms of the whole the here talk, uh, I mean, that's garbage. No, the here back at United. Uh, for Onana, go to the AFCON. Yes, go enjoy yourself at the AFCON. Tom Heaton and Altel Bindil are able deputies for the few games Onana will be away. Come on, we are Man United. Stop being petty like that. Let the man go and represent his country. For now, the dilemma for me, there is no dilemma at all for anyway. There is no dilemma for me. No matter what I do, that's the only dilemma I know. All I think about is you. Even when I'm in my room. This is how you used to dance that song when it came out. No matter what I do. All I think about is you. <laughs>